А ты нас увидела, что ли? Да. За твою замечательную Гордеевсу. И мне. А тебе не дали ее? Не знаю, почему. Да. Ладно, тебя тоже подождем. А это твоя справа комната? Да. Гордеевса, пора. Коренция, присоединяйся. Она тоже у нее скоро будет, да? Да, у нее в мае. Жарко? Да. Ну это 30 долларов. 20 долларов. Даже 20 вы платите. Да. Ну. да, и за интернет. Да, тебе или нет? Зачем? И там мама не смотрит живой телевидение, она смотрит только то, что... It was very rise of antisemitism. And uh, because I looked so Jewish, I had constant problems. Me and my friend Dinka were riding the bike, and the guy drunk guy came to me and pushed me off the bike saying Jew you have and I had a very nice bike I was calling him money to buy this bike so he pushed me off the bike and uh, and and you know in the crowd when you're getting on the transportation you know I had constant problems like people would say why are you so why are you here so can't you like all the people can the woman told me can't you keep your hair normal why you have to be so curly and you know and so like you know, wild, something like that. How old are you? I was uh, 20, 21. То есть, короче говоря, уровень жизни в Америке, как только мы нашли работу, сразу изменился. Это первое. А второе, что здесь, конечно, можно было полностью была свобода слова, и мы не боялись за то, что мы скажем, что-то скажем, такое и нас за это посадят в тюрьму. Вот, потому что в России был такой период, когда нельзя было даже рассказывать анекдоты. Даже за анекдот сажали в тюрьму. И у меня была приятельница, которая, с которой я встречалась, и ее отца значит, обвинили в антисоветской деятельности. И когда я к ней шла в гости, меня остановил на лестнице КГБшник. И он меня остановил и сказал, я вам советую больше не ходить в этот дом, иначе вы можете тоже э, попасть в тюрьму или вас посадят в сумасшедший дом и так далее. Lately it's been a little harder because of all the potential issues related to the elections in America and the fact that Russia could have influenced that. So I'm not completely comfortable telling people that I came from Russia or that I speak Russian because I don't know what the reaction is going to be. Because pretty much every day on the news now, they, they talk about the Russian connection to the election. I felt like uh, when the election was, uh, you know, I voted before the election because mm -hmm. I knew that I you know, had to be in Russia. So for me, it was a bit like that I have no country anymore at all. For some, for a couple of days, it was such a shock that I felt like there is no country for me Even anymore. Even when Trump was elected? Yeah, yeah. But then it passed. So I always dreamed of being able to go and travel to a foreign country, but I never thought that that's going to happen ever in my life. Because the borders were closed and you couldn't really travel anywhere. So when the first chance I had to travel was actually to America, which I kind of, it was too good to be true. And so I think the last 30 years has pretty much been amazing and everything that I dreamed of came true as I was able to study what I was interested in, I was able to get a job in the field of banking where I wanted to be, and I was able to travel the world and have a family, and I think achieve American dream.